hello. This reading is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, or Rising Signs. Okay, I'm going to read through the cards first. From the top left, you have the Death card, the Ace of Wands, the Knight of Cups, and then the Seven of Pentacles, the Eight of Swords, the Five of Cups, and then the Two of Swords, the Nine of Cups, and the Queen of Cups. So I'm going to come to the other card I have showing here, the King of Cups, which was on the bottom of the deck. So to start with, I sense that there has been an ending. It, this does feel very relationship related for a lot of you. Uh, that might not be the case for all of you. If it's not related to a relationship, I feel that there's been an ending of a cycle of some kind that is impacting you on the emotional level. And most endings would impact us on the emotional level. However, this feels a little bit more like it wasn't sudden and a lot of the emotional impact is because it feels like it was something that, that's been a long time coming and it feels like it, a lot of it may have, might have been your doing or that at least you were expecting it. The Seven of Pentacles really tells me that the seeds for this ending were, have been planted, were planted a while back and that's why it feels like it was expected, even if that was just a subconscious knowing, but for a lot of you it feels like it was quite conscious that you were quite aware of it. And with the Two of Swords, I, I feel that a lot of you made this decision yourself. So usually with my monthly readings, it's I'm, they're not warnings for upcoming things, so most likely this is something that's already happened. The good thing about it is that it does feel like a sense of relief. And this death card, especially with the Ace of Wands, feels more like a fire entered and finally burned away. Uh, the remainder of some dead wood is what I'm seeing as an image. So it feels like the real damage was done before. So it does feel like, especially looking at the right hand column, Knight of Cups, Five of Cups, and Queen of Cups, it feels to me like there was some damage done most likely in a partnership stemming back a few months, maybe even years. And it just took some time to work through it and finally go your separate ways. Um, if this is not, if there has not been an ending in any way, either in a relationship or something else that's ended that's impacted you emotionally, this feels more like it's representing to me a stage that is coming to an end that in work working in a similar way so it feels like something isn't working and needs to be burned away and that might not necessarily be an ending a full ending of a relationship for example so if you're for example if you're married and you feel like romantically and emotionally things are stable there's still an energy working uh, with your sign right now shown in this reading that has to do with something that needs to be burned away so habitual behavior between the two of you that might lead to disagreements of some kind or one of you struggling with something emotionally with this five of cups that needs to be burned away which could be it could be as extreme as an addiction or it could be something that one of you went through like a loss um, that feels pretty strong especially with the death card so again if you're in a stable relationship where there hasn't been an ending it feels like one or the other of you might have lost someone and have been struggling with that and, and of course that can't be burned away quickly but it does feel like a new cycle will be opening up that will bring in some new healing but it might take a decision um, but on both your parts. So someone might need to take action like introducing maybe some grief counseling into the picture or something along those lines. It's a I just want to reiterate that it's a beautiful kind of um, ending and rebirth. I really am getting a lot of fire energy with this um, cutting something away and bringing in to make it ready for new growth. And the seven of pentacles um, adds to that too because 
it has to do with planting seeds sometimes. Okay, I do feel that you Virgos are represented by this Queen of Cups for this month and it can be male or female, but I, I sense that you're the one that is feeling the most sensitive right now, receptive to empathic, anything empathic. So whatever it is on the emotional level is heavily impacting you especially and that's why you're coming up as the Queen of Cups. You might also be extraordinarily sensitive in addition to this. So sensitive to the energies of, you know, some practical emotional things happening, but then also extra sensitive to energetic anything. So um, some stronger empathic abilities. I see you facing this nine of cups and that tells me that there is some hope, but above it is this eight of swords. So I feel that there is guilt associated with whatever has happened. And if it's not guilt, it feels like uh, some anger that's got you bound up a bit or fear. So guilt, anger, or fear, things happening on the mental level that can be all of those can be very restrictive. Um, and that's a position that you're currently in, but it feels pretty temporary. You have this great fire energy right above it with this ace of wands. And that's where I feel that this King of Cups is coming into the picture. So especially for those of you who have gone through a relationship ending, one of those things is definitely restricting you right now, the fear, anger, or guilt, but it feels temporary because I feel that there is a burst that's coming through that's going to allow in even more fire to burn even more away, including any of that fear or anger, and a more ideal partner. It could be in the distance for some of you. It came up on the bottom of the deck, so it's it's not clear how directly it plays into this, but it came up, it did come up, so it's showing me that there is definitely something to be hopeful about. And I feel that you're getting glimpses of that hope with the Nine of Cups, and that is valid because I do feel that that more ideal partner and it is the ideal partner for the Queen of Cups being the King of Cups is coming in to the picture and the other interesting thing about it being the King especially for those of you who did go through a breakup this person is much more mature than this Knight of Cups person who is exiting the picture or has exited already if you're in a partnership um, especially if the bit about grief rang true, if there's been a death or a loss of some other kind, feels like it more, might be more related to your partner experiencing that, so maybe they've lost a parent, but it could be you as well, but either way it's impacting the relationship. If that's the case, it feels like this King of Cups is someone who's coming into the picture also to help. and. King of Cups can often be a counselor, but it might also be a friend. It might also be another parental figure that may play a role in this healing in some way. So with all of these changes and shifts, though, it feels like the most, the most acute thing right now is the center card, and it really does have a different energy than a lot of the other cards. So if guilt, anger, or fear is really ringing true for you for this month, please take some time to look within and be more introspective, be more aware of your thoughts, try to introduce some more hope into the picture because that is going to be key. But also having the Two of Swords there as well, and you can see that both of them are blindfolded. There's a sense that most of what might be bothering you right now is happening on the mental level, but there, is, there are answers on the spiritual level and healing on the emotional level that's available. The blindfold 
can be a restrictive thing, but it can also be a message to shut out some outer stimuli to go within, be introspective, examine and look for answers and access some of the healing that's available for you and also spiritual messages available for you. All right, Virgos, I'm going to wrap this up here. Take care.